beautiful beaded ornament is so effective if you hang it in a window. The light shines through it, it's kind of semi-transparent and it reflects off all the different colours. It's really, really nice. And if you look into it like this, you can actually see yourself in each one of the different glass beads. So to make this, you're going to need some glass beads, some glue, you've got glue here. There's my more beads. All different colours, really nice. And there's smaller ones here as well, because there's going to be gaps. And we'll put some smaller ones here in there. And it's made on plastic. So this could be the lid of a food container of some description. This one here, just leave that in there for a minute. This one here was made in the base of a soup tin or a soup plastic container. Put glue down the bottom and put the beads in. Let it dry. Now you have to be patient. It does take quite a few days to dry this properly. So after about three days, I was able to pop this out and place it on a flat plate and the base glue was still tacky so it took another two days. This is actually six days since it was done and it's nearly transparent at this stage. The, white, the glue is very white in the beginning but as it dries it becomes more translucent. So we're going to make one here. I think I'll use this one. It has to be a little lip on the lid that you're using. I'm just going to pour some glue out. Just open this properly. Here we'll see. Spread it out right out the edges. Yeah, I think I'll have to put some of it back in. It will dry eventually, even if it's this thick. I'll just leave it in. But I think if I was doing it again, I might put maybe just about half the glue that I just put in there. And then you put your beads in and press them down. I'm going to start around the edges. I'm going to make a random pattern here. Just press it in a little bit. I've got, just got a little bit of glue on top, but I wouldn't worry too much because when it dries it will be transparent, so it's not going to show too much. I might fit one or two more in there. Get a pink one, maybe. Okay, now we're not going to fit any more of the big ones in, so I'm going to just go into the gaps with some smaller beads that I have. You might have an old necklace or something that you're not using any longer with beaded little beads in it. You might be able to use, use them for this. That's it. And all you need now is patience. Like I said, it could be a few days. You could make a hole here with a needle and thread, just put a thread through it for a hanging, for hanging in your window. And that will just tip out of that when it's dry. I think you should make one of these. They're very, very nice. Bye bye.